This is John for Global Traveler. Today I have the pleasure of talking travel with actress Melissa Archer. How are you, Melissa? Hi, I am wonderful. <laughs> You're looking fantastic. The last time I saw you was probably, gosh, about eight, nine years ago at a convention. Um, I you, do. I remember that. <laughs> you, you were one of my first interviews there, and, and you were you were awesome. You were totally on that day. It was it was <laughs> a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. Let's take you back when um, I know it wasn't your first role, but uh, General Hospital, sorry, One Life to Live <laughs> was probably your first big role. How did you decide to get into acting, and how did you end up getting that that role? Um. So. I, I knew from a, a pretty early age that I wanted to entertain, but I don't think I knew um, what that meant yet. Um, I was a dancer for a long time, um, and I thought that's what I wanted to do until um, probably about when I hit my teens and I started developing because I wanted to be a ballerina, and I was developing differently than ballerinas did. So uh, I got introduced to acting um, from a, I was doing a play and, uh, and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> like I had never experienced anything like that before. It was so like invigorating. And as soon as I was done with the performance, I went to my mom and I said, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. And she was like, oh, okay. And I think at the time she was kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. And, um, and then I became very pursuant of it. And um, eventually it kind of came down to this, like, okay, can't do full-time dancing and full-time acting classes. So I had to choose and I decided to go with acting or I could do half and half, but my mom said I couldn't do full of both. And I was like, no, let's just do acting. And so I kind of just poured myself into it and um, got introduced. I mean, honestly, a lot of my... Um, my good work and I feel like I owe to my mom because she did all sorts of stuff in the background there like helping me talking to the right people just you know doing whatever needed to be done I wouldn't have known you know mm -hmm. um and uh then I landed my first little tiny role um doing a I was I was an extra in a commercial but I got bumped up um to like uh I don't know what they call it a feature or something and uh all I was doing was washing a car but man that was cool yeah, and right. <laughs> right um and so then uh let's see then yeah from there um ended up getting a role in uh Texas on a show called Wishbone and just in, for an episode and it was just like oh my god I loved like TV became more of the thing I was just like this TV movies. This is it. And um, so, yeah, just kept pursuing, got to California, got agents and, you know, just parked away until something happened. <laughs> and when you landed the role, I'm willing to tell you, there are a lot of longtime veteran, awesome actors, actresses, yeah. or, you know, Erica Slazek, Clint Ritchie, uh, Robert Woods, Hillary Smith, all those. Were you intimidated or how were you not intimidated, I guess, joining that? Um, well, of course I knew who they were because my mom watched the show. So it was one of those things where I was like, oh, okay, and now I, I know who I'm working with. And I used to, um, I was very big about not uh, learning who I was auditioning for or like, I didn't want to know how famous or whatever people were with that I was working with because I didn't want to scare myself out, you know? Um, and I know that like just those little things can, you know, just, shake you up so I used to try really hard not to focus on that but of course like going on a show that my mom watched that I knew you know <laughs> these people so it's like I can't really not know them um so yeah I was totally nervous um I was really fortunate at the time because in my younger years I was able I was really good at taking nerves and kind of putting that into um excitement so even if I felt really nervous I kind of like made it not so like I didn't psych myself out as much uh, back then. So it was ironically, like once I started working that I became more, um, like I could suck myself out a lot more when I became nervous, which is super weird, but, uh, <laughs> I guess the stakes were higher. I don't know, but yeah, so of course I was totally nervous, but I was also fortunate besides the, uh, excitement part. I had been taking a class from this uh, acting coach called, uh, called <laughs> named Brian Reese, um, who had taught, all of us that took his class, just kind of like 
like we did different things every week, but one of the things we, we did was um, screen test and um, uh, going to network night. And so you really actually got to experience what it was like, you know, simulated um, to go through that process and uh, to do blocking, to do all these different things that like you, you know, um, like as though you were doing it for an audition purpose and, and then what, what would you do if you had the job? So in that sense, I was super fortunate because I felt like when I came on, there was a lot of stuff that he had taught me already that I just was like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. And then there were things, you know, that were tricky here and there. And, um, there's always stuff like, you don't know, like, I didn't know terminology. I remember the first time a director said vis V and I was like, <laughs> and I was so embarrassed because I thought, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. And I was working with a couple of people who definitely, there was one specifically who intimidated me then. And, um, and I was like not wanting that person to know, but I'm pretty sure it was like clear all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, but I think it was, I think it was Erin Torpy who was just like, and then she kind of like explained it to me like really softly so that I didn't get embarrassed. And it was pretty great. <laughs> but <laughs> there was like this thing, you know, I just, you don't know terms and stuff and everything's different. Like, you know, uh, doing TV when you're doing soap opera stuff is so different than even like what they're doing in, especially single cam. Um, but yeah, so there's just a, the, and then movies too, like all the terminology is different. So no, you came, sorry, you, you came on while I to live as the bad girl, Natalie, eventually of course, it's been soap operas. You, you know, became a beloved character. I fanned out. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. okay. Did you prefer either? Did you prefer playing or acting? Um, yeah, I think, I think on that note, um, so there's a really great, fun, excitingness to playing a character that's bad, right? Like, you can hit things in a way <laughs> that, you know, it's just it's just fun, right? It's just fun, and especially in the earlier time when I first started, like I didn't really know what the plan was for the character, so I didn't really have this like expectation that I was going to last a long time. So I was just like, I'm here to do whatever I'm told to do. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point in time, it was just you know I'm coming in to shake some stuff up, you know, and so that's that's pretty much how I played it. And of course, you know, I look back at some of these like really really old episodes and. I mean, just like on the nose on so many things, you know, it's like, and then my eyes got really big and psycho and stuff. <laughs> You're so a funny. classic though. <laughs> I know. And it was like taglines. Like I, I'd never done tags before and they're so weird because it's just like you're staring there for like, I don't know, it's 30 seconds or something. And it's like, so I would, my eyes, <laughs> I would stare and my eyes would just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway. Uh, uh, I forgot what you asked. <laughs> <laughs> I asked which, um, if you prefer playing the oh, bad versus sorry. the good. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> but, but what happens is, you know, especially on a soap and you get the opportunity. I was fortunate in that sense that I got the opportunity to not just be this bad girl, but then kind of come around to the other side. Um, and I think, like if she became too vanilla, she would be boring. And um, I'm really glad that the writers over time kind of kept in these little bits of her old self in her so that she was feisty. She just grew up some and wasn't like, you know, out to hustle. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I always thought they kept you true to your your nature, but they they allowed you to mature into and, and expand the character. And it, yeah, it, exactly. You know, and you you took your place in Landview. So yeah. af after the show went off the air, um, was it hard for you to then go to other projects? I know you did projects all along, but was it hard for you then to go to another project after you've been, you were at One Life to Live with like your family for 10 years or plus Oh, you mean years. in the sense of getting it or just in the sense of like what it was like on yeah, like other going, sets? Now you're going on to a set and there's you know, all new people after you've been going oh, yeah. to the day. Yeah. I mean, even when I joined Days, it was a very you know, I'm walking into a brand new family and I mean, I'm not welcomed yet. You know what I mean? Like they're, they don't know me. And, um, so it was, it was, it was definitely me kind of being like, okay, hopefully they'll like me, you know, and they did, they were awesome. And I loved them there. But, um, of course 
I didn't get as much time with them as I did, you know, over the years at One Life. That was what, 10, 11 years, Thir- no, 13, 13 years, right? Something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> part of your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. recently I, I've been following you online and I got to say, I love your post on, um, on, on social media. I love the, the quotes you post up there. I love the positive images Thanks. that you put up there. It's, it's, it's always, um, you know, social media can be kind of ugly at times and it's really cool to see mm-hmm. someone like you putting up positive messages. But yes. along with that, you've got a couple of things in the works. You've got van life going. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I have yep. to talk, I have to ask about van life. What, how Absolutely. did you get started? What, what led you to um, van life? I think there was a series of things. Um, My life was changing dramatically in a rapid pace (laughs) from like (laughs) 2017 on and, or maybe even 16, I don't know. Uh, And um, by the time I got to this, this section of my life, I had just, I had been in this like phase of just wanting to get rid of things and to, to minimum, to become very minimalist. I mean, I, I say that kind of laughingly because even though I've like gotten rid of everything, I still don't feel like I'm a mess because <laughs> I always feel like I still have clutter. But anyway, um, and I, I just, yeah, I just like, and I had been obsessed with tiny homes. There was a TV show. Um, my parents were watching it and I kind of started watching it with them and became just as obsessed with it. And I was like, oh my gosh. And every five minutes I was like, we need to get a tiny home. Put it in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> so like. I thought they were so cool. And um, it turns out later, I meet this guy who, um, you know, we were friends, we started dating, and then we were friends for a while again after that. And then we started dating again. Um, But during that time, he had, um, he had a van. Um, And I remember, I remember the first time uh, someone had told me about him, and they were like, Oh, yeah, and he's got a van. And I was like, okay (laughs) i didn't know what that meant you know (laughs) they're like you know like a camper and i'm kind of picturing the like not that this is bad i mean if someone has it i'm not knocking it but i'm picturing you know a 1970s um uh what are they winnebago not even not okay. even like like an astro or something i don't know if an astro is the right oh those but there's yeah. the bands but yeah. they like had they kind of had like some sleeping ish to them ish you know um so that's kind of what i'm picturing and i was like oh okay cool and uh and i had also so when i moved back to texas like i had gotten into this headset like the second i got back i was like i want to hike i want to like get back into nature i want to be you know, outdoors more. And Texas is kind of a a hard place to do that sometimes just because, I mean, there's nature and stuff, but the like weather, like in the summer, it's just disgusting. And then in the winter, it could be really cold. So it's hard to find like that happy medium, you know, and I didn't really know like a lot of places to go. So, um, it kind of worked out, um, after beating him, um, I found some like much cooler places than where I had been going to hike. (laughs) So that was nice. And um, yeah. And then eventually it kind of turned into this, like, um, you know, we did camping and stuff like that. And that I enjoyed. I did that when I was a kid. So that was always fun. Um, But then around 2022, um, I had been watching like so many YouTube videos about people with their vans and people with even just like people who were doing like SUVs and stuff. And um, there was a forerunner that we had that wasn't really being used. And I was like, can I do this? And I, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not like power tool girl. Like I'm, you know what I mean? Like, um, and not that I can't, it's just that that's not like, you don't see me doing that out, out there every day. It's not something I could just <laughs> walk out there and be like, oh yeah, I got this, you know? So I asked my dad, I was like, listen, I'm thinking about doing this. If you guys are cool that like, would you help me bake it? And he was like, yep. So he helped me build out and we built out this forerunner awesome. and, um, and I was like, okay, now I'm going to try this life. I mean, not, I wasn't going to do that full time. I was just going to sure. do it like, you know, for, uh, a, an extended period of time to see how I liked it. And so I went on my first trip and I think I was like, maybe planning to do two weeks, maybe three max. And I ended up doing six because wow. I fell in love with it. And the only challenge I had with the forerunner is it's just, it's harder, right? Like you don't have as much space. 
Um, you have to go outside to go to the bathroom. Like there's just extra things. And my dog was starting to grow because he was a puppy when I got him. Um, or when we first started doing it. Um, sorry, I don't know if you can hear him barking now. Um, <laughs> he's like, oh, you said my name, I think. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, yeah, so he was getting bigger. I was like, this isn't going to work. I mean, he was just like, oh, like, you know, in the <laughs> passenger seat, trying to, you know, get comfortable. So I... Um, started thinking about um you know what it would be like to get a van but I didn't really think it was possible I, I kind of have this like wow that seems like what other people can do but not something I'd be able to do and then um and then of course you know when you get an idea in your head or at least when I do <laughs> like all of a sudden it's just like things just start to crazily unfold yeah. and that's kind of what happened so it was like you know oh well let me just go take a look to see what's out there I mean I can't afford these, but maybe I can, you know, I was looking, you know, I'll, I'll window shop as they say. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what I did. I started window shopping and all of a sudden I came across this one. Um, and I was like, Oh my gosh, like loved the design on the inside. Now granted, you know, I'm looking at pictures. Sometimes pictures do justice or overdo justice. <laughs> so, oh, right, right. Um, so I wasn't sure, but I was like, the style was great. The only downside is that I couldn't stand in it. It wasn't a, a full, you know, topper. So I was like, okay, how do I, how, am I like, oh, am I going to be okay with that? You know, like what, sac what sacrifices am I willing to make? Because there was options, like with the, what I could afford at the time, it was like, I could either get a completely, um, you know, uh, like not made van and then make it myself. But then I would, take a long time and the price of like materials and stuff had gone up severely at that point so I was like oh like I don't even know which way is better and um and this one's a really 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 old man but it was nicely done it was something I could afford and I flew out to go see it and there was another one I was also interested in um this one I was like really interested in but the other one you could stand in so I was like you know um and the day that I was supposed to meet with the other people, they started having trouble because they couldn't get the van into like, they had a check engine light come on and they couldn't get the van Ooh. into any shops. Like nobody could take them because they were too tall. And I was like, I think that's my sign. Exactly. So I was like, I think, I think we're not going to do that. And so then I went and that the, this one for, for this van. And I was just like, yeah. And it's just, it's perfect. And so, um, drove it back and then, um, my partner and I, we like basically just, you know, started taking things and redoing them. Um, there was, you know, there was a lot done. Like he did the, the previous owner did a like majority of the work, but we went in, there were cabinets that didn't have doors, you know, and we're like, was like no we're gonna build doors. So built doors, we reshaped some stuff. Um, just did a whole bunch of things that were more, you know, more aligned with what I would want for it, <clears throat> but the main aesthetic stayed the same. And, uh, and even at that time I was kind of like, eh, I'm just going to do this. Like, you know, maybe like I'll go for a couple months or something. Um, and I work remotely, so it was not a big deal for me to, you know, to, I could do anything anywhere. Right. So it's like, okay, yeah, I could do this. And then I spent like, I don't know, I think it was like two weeks. Um, it was like two weeks from, from when I was, when I got it to get back, uh, before we did all the tweaking. Mm -hmm. And by the time I got back from the, the two weeks, I was already like, I just want to keep doing this. And so I got home and I, I like talked it over with family and was just like, okay, let's think this through. Like, let's <laughs> not, you know, and, um, my partner was already doing it full time. So that was an easy part of it. Um, so I was just like, I love this. And I'm kind of thinking like, this is, I don't know, this is like where I feel like I'm going. And they were super supportive and just like, yeah, then do it. And my partner has this motto of um, live life while you still feel like living. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's <laughs> exactly it. And so, yeah, I just, I mean, it's incredible because I've seen so much that I don't think I ever thought I would see. And, and I'm also like not the same person I was 10 years ago, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. I smoked, I, you know, was not going to go outside and hike, you know what I mean? Like there was a <laughs> lot of things that were very different and, 
today it's like, you know, I may not be, uh, like a size zero actress who like, (laughs) you know, does the things that I used to do in my life. But now I go out and I get to see nature. I go on hikes. Um, sometimes I'm like the girl who struggles the most on the hike. And sometimes I'm like killing it, you know, it just depends. And, um, I don't care because it's fun. And when you get to the top, you see like even more incredibleness and it's just, ugh, like I can't describe it enough. And yeah, so started doing it, uh, full-time in, um, February of last year, right? Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of last year. So I've been doing it a little over a year now and, um, it's just been, I mean, it's, it's exciting. It's, um, there's just so much to it that, uh, that has changed me. And I feel like so much has humbled me and, um, I don't know, life is just simpler and I like it this way. Well, anybody that follows you on social media can tell that you really have, you know, grabbed onto this and, and, are, and are enjoying it immensely. So what yeah. advice would you give to somebody who's, you know, like five years ago, with you or two years ago, with you, what advice would you give to someone who's, you know, thinking about doing this or so is I say, on doing this? Yeah. So I say, um, like, I'm a big advocate of seed planting. <laughs> so um, if you're interested in it, continue to watch videos, continue to uh, learn about it. Because the more you learn about something, you'll either be turned on to it or turned off from it. And I was, I had two things I was scared about doing any of this. And after the first trip, all of those fears were alleviated. And I was like, oh yeah, I got this. And, um, and I think that's, that's really the key because you are making sacrifices, right? Like, like I take showers, but I can't stand in my van. Right. So Mm -hmm. I have to like do some adjustments for that. (laughs) And like, there's, you know, there's just all sorts of things that, but I also have really great things. Like I have a full oven and stove and I can cook real meals and I'm not, you know, I'm not slumming it, but for sure there's certain things that I have to, you know, cause I don't, we don't plug in most places. We're just boondocking. So we have solar, you know, so you're, you're living life at that point on like, okay, I can't just like waste water, which is good. You know, um, I have to pay attention to how much electricity I'm using and this and that. So there's certainly things that are, um, I guess more, like I said, you have to sacrifice, but then like what you get in return can be just out of this world. Um, so it's, it's kind of, you know, you just start going through the process of like, you know, seeing if the things you see when you're watching those videos, if that entices you. And then, um, if you finally get kind of the nerve for it, you know, you don't have to invest right away. There's vans you can rent. Um, you can do smaller stuff to like, like what I did in the SUV, which isn't that much, uh, cost. And, um, it was a super solid, awesome, you know, space. Um, and, um, you know, so there's a ton of things that you can do to start with and then just take some trips and, you know, take, if you're, if you're capable of doing it where, you know, if you can work remotely or you're retired or something, then, you know, take a little bit longer than just a few days, like go and just really see what it's like, see what it's like to boondock and not have like the amenities, not have, you know, you have to like be careful with how much water you're using and, you know, have a cassette toilet or, um, you know, whatever. So there's certainly, uh, you know, things that change, but then you get like where I'm at right now, which is just insane. Yeah. I really, I mean, it's compromise. You, you know, you sacrifice one thing, but you, you gain a lot of others. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to ask you about is, is, um, actually I just ordered the t-shirt. I just got confirmation that it's on the way. I would have, <laughs> I would have worn for the interview, but I kind of wanted to wear the tie and I actually I don't yeah, yeah, okay. have it yet. So <laughs> well, I thank you for it, supporting. I, when I do get it, I will post it. But um, awesome. it, it's um, it's um, better to wander. Yes, so yes. Tell tell me a so, little bit. Tell everybody a little bit about that. I love the shirt. I'm not just saying. Thank that you. I, I thought it was a, such a thank cool you. Thing. So I said that I don't remember the entire like I don't remember the the surrounding conversation um, at all for some reason. Um, I remember where I was. I just don't remember what we were talking about. 
And all of a sudden I said, it's uh, better to wander than to wonder. And as soon as I said it, I was like, I need to write that down <laughs> on a shirt. <laughs> and so I like stopped everything, wrote it down because I'll forget. Because I come up with sayings all the time, but I never write them down. And I was like, I'm writing this one down. And um, yeah. And then uh, I had to start looking for artwork to go with it because I didn't just want to have the words. I wanted to have something that represented, you know, what we're doing. But the real thing was like what or what it means is, you know, <clears throat> Whatever it is, if you understand it, don't understand it, um, don't know what it is, don't, you know, you don't have to know everything, but it's certainly better to go and just do something, just try something, um, take that extra leap if you can, like do it because you don't want to be the person who's just like, what if right. all the time. And I'm not saying every little thing that comes up, <laughs> you should just go and like be frivolous and not think, but like. But I think that there's so many things, especially like after seeing, you know, like my dad die early and um, my other dad, sorry, I, I call them both dad. So I get, I get people very confused. Um, <laughs> my <laughs> stepdad was the one I built the thing with. My other dad is the one that passed. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, like after he died, you know, it, it definitely, because he was so young, like it definitely for me was like, oh yeah, that's like time is short and we don't really know what that's going to be like. And I don't know what I'm going to feel like in 10 years or 20 years when you're retired and all of that. So it's really just kind of finding ways to uh, take whatever that leap is and, um, you know, don't, don't sit there and wonder. <laughs> <laughs> So will there be more, obviously that you just started it, but I mean, do you have plan on expanding the line, more t-shirts, more, you know, whatever? Yes, or... actually. I've been, yes. Thank you for asking. I've been working on that. Um, I, that, so the, 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 um, merchandise company that I was working with, um, was kind of more specific to Instagram back when like Instagram had their, you know, start your shop thing it was the only thing you could use, or at least the only thing I could use. I don't know. That's the only thing that, that would connect. And so, um, I started like a, a different line, like a long time ago and, um, I didn't really do much with it. It was kind of like, Oh, I started this thing. And then I like <laughs> left it alone and it wasn't really that great. I didn't love the way it looked. Um, but I had never really done any of this stuff. So I was just kind of like, yeah, it's fun, whatever. I'm just taking some pictures and throwing them up on stuff, whatever. And then when this line came out, I was like, oh, this is so cool. And then I like went and did stuff, but I didn't really love the, that company. I felt like it was very limited in what I could um, uh, give and also kind of expensive. So, um, so I've been looking into other ones that I can, um, and I, I did find one. So I'm, I'm working right now building the store on it. And, um, I got a, a lot of really cool things coming. So, well, I can't wait for them. You know, I'll be, you know, yeah. I'll be checking them out as they come. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, I just, I think it's such a cool idea. And the concept behind it really is the cool thing. And I mean, the shirts are, you yeah. know, the shirts and the merchandise are cool because they advertise it, but I like the concept behind it. It's, I think it's a really cool idea. Before yeah. I let you go, tell everybody where they can find out more information about you and all your stuff. Um, well, probably the best place to check out anything for me is uh, Instagram because it's the only place I update the most. Uh, oh, and then there's you. my web yeah, and then there's my website melissaarcher.com, which is uh, less updated, <laughs> but but working on it. Um, and the shop, the new shop, will be up and running there eventually. So um, that'll definitely be a place you'll want to check out. But I'll be announcing like what the links are and stuff when it comes. Well, I encourage everyone to check check out your site. I mean, even just for the you, you're such a positive person. It's it like I said the 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 quotes that you put up there every day, the fun that you have. It really is. It, it's an uplifting thing for me. I I look forward to seeing what's Melissa up to today. Oh, one thank the, you. One of the highlights of the day, Melissa. Really, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. I've I followed your career for a long time. You know that, and uh, you're you're just a really positive person. And thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. You have a, a great pleasure. Day. All right. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.